I'm Cher Russell for mining.com.au and joining me today is Peter Allen, the Managing Director of Firebird Metals. Peter, it is fabulous to have you back on. How are you? I'm great, Shay. Thanks for having me. Now, Peter, I always enjoy having you back on because what Firebird Metals is working on is extremely unique. We're going to get to what makes it unique in just a second. Uh, I want to start today's conversation around how you've morphed from becoming an explorer and a development company with assets in the Pilbara to you're moving away into becoming more of a downstream play and a tech play. Tell me, why have you done this? Look, it's been kind of like a natural step for us. You know, we, we've started with our resource in Western Australia. Uh, you know, we first, uh, you know, grew that resource, then look, looked to see how we could process it in a metallurgical way, and then looking how we can then take that on into, into batteries. Uh, and through that process, we just look and see where the real growth markets are within manganese. And we see the growth markets are, you know, at the battery end, the cell end, and then the opportunities that that creates for us. So, we, you know, we see that we've got a lot of, uh, internal IP and technical expertise. And by leveraging that and going downstream first, that's how we can give maximum value to our stakeholders. What this really means for Firebird is that, you know, we are now one of a very few non-Chinese company to be able to demonstrate that we have this technology. I think we're the first uh, Australian company to prove this technology. Um, and it's really a huge evolution in our step in our process. And I think from this will springboard lots of other benefits in our in our business. So manganese sulfate is a critical element in LMFP batteries. Obviously, the M stands for manganese. But I think beyond that, it, it is, uh, you know, the true value add portion of the total cathode proposition. You know, very little people can do with lithium carbonate, man uh, sorry, iron phosphate and phosphate. Um, so manganese is where you really have the advantage and the, the point where you can really look to leverage your technology and save money. You mentioned the word manganese, but what Firebird Metals is actually working on is manganese sulfate and batteries. Now, you have created a particular new process, which um, I believe is more efficient than past processes. So what makes this approach so unique? Yeah, look, what it really is doing, it's combining two processes. We're taking the, the sulfate, which is, you know, a battery raw material, and then combining it with a PCAM or, you know, precursor material process. What we would do as a sulfate producer, normally we would take our ore through all the different processes, you know, you would end up removing the impurities and then you would crystallize it to, to pack it, dry it and ship it to your customers. By combining this process, we then, we don't crystallize it, we don't have to package it, we keep it in a liquid solution, we then blend uh, or what's technically called co-precipitation with the other components in the pre-cam uh, and we can then get a better product because it's it's mixing at an atom level versus when you're mixing with a dry product and you, you're grinding, you're not getting as, as a quality mix. So through all that process, long story short, we end up cutting a whole heap of costs out of our sulfate, sulfate process, uh, you know, roughly about 30%. So, you know, we already were a very low cost process, so we've become an even cheaper process. Um, so for us, we value add, we go into the CAM product, which will then eventually go into the battery cell, um, and we are cutting our costs at the same time. So, you know, for us, it's a win-win. Uh, now, I know I've heard you use the word bench scale technology, and like I, I love that explanation because it explains exactly what it is, that it's still early days. But tell me, how do you take this product from bench scale to a pilot phase and even beyond? Yeah. So initially, the bench scale is it's going to be about 100 batches of uh, going through this process. You know, what we announced uh, yesterday is we've done the first five. We've then converted the, that process into, into little button batteries for, for testing. Um, once we've completed those 100 batches, what we'll be looking to do is then to go through all the pre-qualification steps for cell manufacturers. And for what, uh, for what we need to do to do that is to go to a one ton a day production base of, of a um, you know, CAM material. Firebird Metals is absolutely operating by stealth. As you said, you've moved from being a developer to more of a technology play. What sort of news flow can we expect to hear? Yeah, look, we've got a really busy 2025. You know, over the last few weeks, we've already announced uh, you know, our supply agreement with Eremit to supply us third party ore to feed into our sulfate plant. We, we've announced offtakes with Chinese uh, cell manufacturers. 
uh, for to take our sulfate. We've also announced that we've got a, um, a technical agreement with Sedgman's. You know, as part of this process, you know, innovation is one of our key stories. And, you know, we've innovated our new, uh, very efficient calcining kiln. Uh, we're looking at how we can then take that into other commodities. Um, so Sedgman are going to be helping us with technical marketing within Australia. Um, and you think that's all in the last four weeks. And then so coming up, we've got the results of these batteries that we, we, we've produced. Uh, like I said, we're, we're going to produce 100 more, um, you know, 100 more batches, I should say. Um, we've got a whole heap of news flow that will come around that. Um, at the same time, we are still working on developing our resource. Um, you know, we've gone through the mining license application. We're getting very close to having a mining license granted subject to the environmental uh, permitting. Um, so, you know, we keep moving on earlier, uh, sorry, late last year, we announced uh, that we had come to an agreement with the traditional owners to underpin that mining license agreement. So, you know, there's lots of strong news flow still coming through the process. Uh, and, you know, we, we have a very exciting 2025. Uh, listen, Peter, thank you so much for this. I do love uh, the progress that Firebird Metals is taking. It's certainly, there's a lot of exciting things happening here for the company. Thank you so much for being here. I know you've got a plane to catch, so I probably should let you go do that. And when you get back from uh, checking out the plant, I'd love to hear more about it. Thanks, Shane. I look forward to telling you all about it.